Hey everybody, Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back to another game review. This time we're taking a look at Chinese Parents, developed by Moyuan Games and published by Coconut Island Games, released September 20th, 2018. Today we're looking at its release on the Nintendo Switch. Chinese Parents is a life simulator where you will live out your life of a child to Chinese parents from the moment you first open your eyes until you must take the dreaded Gao Kao test in hopes of getting into a top tier university and living up to your parents' lofty expectations. You will begin the game as a chicken nugget, or a chicken nugget with a bow if you happen to be randomly assigned female. From here you have 47 turns to build yourself into the best human you can possibly be, primarily through the fragments menu. It's here that you'll click on differently colored and shaped icons to absorb their attribute, whether it be IQ, EQ, which stands for emotional quotient, memory, imagination, or constitution. Each fragment will unlock its surrounding fragments once selected and use up 10 of your action points for the turn. There are also special fragments which will become available as you get deeper into the game, such as those that will reveal the entire board, provide you additional action points, or scoop up all the fragments surrounding it, though these will cost you more than the standard 10 action points, which provides a bit of strategy in how you want to tackle the board. Most of the time there will be a door symbol that you can uncover, which when selected will provide you with a brand new board to work with, as well as a boost to your actions. And being able to chain together these doors can be incredibly helpful, especially if the current board you're on doesn't offer much of what you happen to be looking for at the time. Finally, you have Knowledge Fragments, which will provide you with the knowledge necessary to learn new skills, which can be penciled into your busy baby schedule, because even babies gotta put in work when you got Chinese parents. Your schedule will consist of a mix of both entertainment and study activities, with the ideal mix being two entertainment to four study, as any more than that will lead your mom giving you a stern talking to. On top of these six selections, there will also be three randomly decided events that happen to you throughout your schedule that can either help or hinder your growth. These activities will also help you to develop the two other stats you cannot gain through fragments, which are your charm and face, which is basically your pride, and will also allow you to make requests of your father to garner some special items throughout the game. In the beginning, these skills will be rather straightforward, such as turning over and clapping to music, but in time you will have many options to choose from, and it is best to use the recommended feature to sort through what you have available to make yourself a more well-rounded individual, though there is reason to continue focusing on the same routine as it will help you discover traits that can be utilized in a couple of the different minigames. And it's the quirky nature of these minigames that can pop up in between turns that really help this game stand out from any number of free-to-play life simulators available on smartphones. From the tug-of-war where you attempt to accept your New Year's money from relatives as modestly as possible, to the out-of-place America's Got Talent competition where you choose a trade and hope that the audience is in the mood for what you have to offer. Lucky for me, the audience was really impressed with how long I could hold my bladder. The first half of the game will follow this basic process of earning fragments, which leads to learning more skills and then planning out your schedule with those. As you go on, different options will become available at the bottom of the main menu, such as a shop where you can spend your weekly allowance, or do chores for some extra pocket money if you have the action points remaining after increasing your stats. One important note to make about how you build your avatar is to not treat it like a character in an RPG. My first attempt at this I went hard into constitution, trying to make a super athlete, but this only ended up with me failing the occasional school exam and not exactly broadening my intellectual horizons. Sadly, you do have to take a very balanced approach to the first half of this game, but I suppose that does mimic real life, so you can't be too disappointed. The game does start to get more complicated though, when you hit those confusing teenage years and the opposite sex starts to become more appealing. Now you can spend some of your action points chatting it up with one of those possible prospects in hopes of building a lasting relationship, though it is left up to chance if you will improve, decrease, or cause no change to your status with that person. It is also around this time you can start deviating from the balance build and zone in on a couple of stats that will mold you into the person the world will come to recognize you as. This can lead to short slice of lifestyle dialogues with new characters helping to flesh out your day to day life. And when it comes to these stats you can sometimes be at the mercy of what the game has provided you with, just like in real life you might have a desire to follow one career path but end up becoming especially strong in a different attribute which might cause you to shift your focus. The only way you can actually lose in the game is to work yourself to death by letting your mind's shadow overwhelm you, though I found this particularly hard to do even to force intentionally. And if you keep a decent balance of work and pleasure, the stress bar shouldn't be much of a worry throughout the game. Though if it does manage to creep up a little too high, there are some inexpensive items that can be bought at the store to decrease it instantly. Finally, it's time for the big day, as you take the Gao Kao test to determine your future. This won't require the player to do anything in particular, but you will receive admission into a school based on your actions up to this point, as well as get a breakdown of the game itself before getting a short blurb on what you went on to do with your life, as well as any romantic partners you might be able to spend the rest of it with based on the relationship building you may or may not have done previously. This is a great little feature which leads directly into the next generation you attempt to bring up as now your previous character will take on the role of a parent themselves with your child inheriting some bonus stats from the previous game adding to the potentially endless replayability of Chinese parents. The visuals of the game do have a nice charm to them which especially lends themselves to the quirky nature of this. I was especially fond of the poorly drawn caricatures used when going through your weekly activities. 
Though there isn't much in the way of audio here, just a simple melody throughout, with the exception being towards the end of the game where it ramps up, becoming a bit more serious as the Gao Cao draws near. Chinese Parent sells for $13 American with a file size of 452 megabytes, playing one player with no online support. Now I'm not going to pretend to have a vast amount of knowledge when it comes to the life simulation genre, they are usually something that I don't bother with, or at best can't hold my interest for all that long. And while there was a portion in the middle of the game where I was just going through the motions, I did find the whole three-ish hour long experience to be enjoyable, with the mini games and slight puzzle aspect of the fragment boards being my favorite bits. For its price, I feel like there are plenty of other options you could pick up for free, as I mentioned previously, and was kind of surprised a free version of this game wasn't available on smartphones, based on the interface being something very common for most mobile games. Certainly the big feature that warrants its price tag is the replayability, which I was very happy to see, and if I were to come back to this one, I'm pretty sure I could finish a generation in one sitting instead of how long it took me the first time around. There are some other minor issues that I had with the game, such as the grammar mistakes and there not being as many mini-games as I had hoped for, but taking everything into account with the Switch being a great way to game on the go and this being a nice game to play when on a commute, I'm going to give Chinese Parents a 7 out of 10. I think fans of the genre will enjoy this one even more than I did, and if you're interested in the quirky, crazy adventure that is both this game and real life, it's a good pickup if you see it on sale. Thank you everyone for watching, and if you would like to stay posted on new game reviews as I upload them, please click the subscribe button, as well as checking out the link in the description below for my Twitch channel where I stream most evenings. I'll talk to you all later on.